What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel, man. So like I said before, I'm kind of in the process of moving. So these videos might be a little weird. They might get a little uncomfortable or whatever, but I don't think you guys really care, bro. And top of that, dude, I broke my thumb, dude. I don't know if you can tell. Actually, I'm not gonna show you guys because it's kind of gross, but I just cracked my thumb a little bit. Uh, it's actually really weird. But before I even go further, dude, this lighting setup and how it's looking right now is actually looking really, really good. I'm actually really happy about it. But I kind of want to talk about the state of iOS 13 and talk about primarily what's going on with it. and, and we're only like a couple weeks out until the official version of iOS 13 and in my opinion and a lot of people might say otherwise I still think Apple has a long ways to go okay now this is kind of crazy I know whatever and I know there's so many people saying iOS 13 is the best thing ever whatever and I do think it's an upgrade I do think there's a lot of cool things with it but every time I use iOS 13 every time I use a device with iOS 13 I notice a couple different things I actually, I actually noticed three main things one battery life is definitely not better on iOS 13 coming coming from iOS 12 in my opinion on most devices on my iPhone 10 I noticed the battery life is definitely worse than on iOS 12 my iPhone 7 I think battery life is bad my iPhone 10R is pretty much the same my iPhone SE is pretty much the same 7 plus I think is worse and some other devices but I think all across the board battery life is probably worse on iOS 13 in my case now you might have a better situation you might have you know devices that are not that bad so if that's the case then that's awesome but in my specific situation that seems to be the case which is really weird I don't I don't know why. I don't really use my phone more now than before on iOS 12, but that seems to be the main thing. If we go into battery, if we even go to battery health, you can see I'm at 88%, which isn't crazy. I know it's not like the greatest thing ever, but it's also not below 80%. So I, I would say it's about, you know, average. And you can tell like <laughs> lately, I haven't really been charging my phone that much, but definitely overall, my battery life hasn't really been that great in my opinion. And I will do some more research. I will try to figure out why this is happening. But for those of you who are like, man, I was 13, you know, what's going on with it? What's this and that? That is definitely one thing that I've been saying is not that great about it. The other thing is actually with the Apple Watch battery, battery life for some reason my apple watch when i was on ios 13 one oh, first of all when i was on ios 12 my battery life wasn't that bad on my apple watch but now on ios 13 for some reason that battery life is kind of being a little iffy that seems to be a minor one though and for only a couple of betas that was the case but even on beta 7 that i'm on now that seemed to be the case as well now the third thing is would definitely be this the bugs and the issues that i'm running into constantly on a daily basis one that for example i don't even know what it is is like randomly if i go i don't know if i can redo it but sometimes my settings will randomly jump out if i just like go into control center and hop out really quick and that's a weird one i don't know what's going on with that but there's like bugs i find all the time they're not crazy things they're not going to like deter me from using my iphone but it's definitely one thing where I'm like man I really want to be able to just have a solid phone and not run into any bugs and of course I'm on the betas and like I said on the betas I'm expecting it okay but when you're so close to the official build you know in like a month less than a month I mean what's the day the 16th today's the 18th you know in like a couple weeks we're going to be seeing the official build and I don't know man I don't want this to be another iOS 11 I don't want updates being pushed to fix what iOS 13 is breaking all the time you know I just want something like that's good enough, secure enough, and from there we can go build on, you know, fix bugs here and there. But from what I'm seeing, man, I'll be completely honest, and I feel like I'm the only one saying it right now, and maybe a few others as well, but it's like iOS 13 kind of has a lot of bugs and issues that I think Apple needs to fix quickly before they go and release the official build because if they do that and everyone's battery life is worse and performance might be better like that's one thing I've seen performance is definitely better I feel like it's speedier than iOS 12 but the battery life and the bugs and everything like that it just kind of equals out to a really strange package in my opinion so that's the state of iOS 13 right now like I said I don't hate it I think it's cool I think it's a great piece of software they brought a lot of cool features I just really really hope they focus down and hound down on the specific issues that they're currently having because iOS 13, like I said, does have a lot of issues. So hopefully Apple can fix those before the official build. And that's really and that's really all I have to say about this, man. If you guys have your experience with iOS 13, if it's crazy, if it's good, let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to hear it, but that is pretty much it, man. If you have any other questions or anything, leave it down in the comment section below. Hit that like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys could hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well my twitter my instagram my second channel all those links are linked down below i'd really appreciate it if you guys could check it out but more importantly than everything else i love every single one of you guys hopefully i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out to them